Hello Internet, I will be showing you how to download shaders onto the Xbox One. This is not clickbait, this is not a joke, this is 100% real, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So, I did lose the recording for this part of the video, and there are five apps that you're going to need. These are Microsoft Edge, File Downloader, UFO, File Explorer, and obviously Minecraft. And some of them should be on your Xbox by default, while the others you'll need to download on the App Store. So first you're going to want to go to Display and Sound on the Settings and then go to video output. After you're there, go to video fidelity and overscan. Then make sure this box is unchecked. Apps can add a border, make sure that's unchecked. So now go to Microsoft Edge, which is the web browser. Once again, I am putting the link in the description so you guys can see that too. So you're gonna wanna put your cursor above the download button and press the button with the three lines, the pause or the enter button. And you're, you're gonna wanna click that. Then go down and say copy link. So now that link is copied. And this is when you guys are gonna wanna go to file downloader, the other app that I mentioned earlier. So click on these three lines at the top left corner of file downloader. Then go to the button that says from URL. After that, go into local storage. Then you're gonna go to the place that says source URL and you're gonna hover the cursor over the white bar, press the three lines button and hit paste just like I just did. Then go to the right and click this down arrow button and that's gonna download it for you. Then click start at the bottom. Now you're gonna wanna go to the three lines and then go to storage. After that you're gonna go to local storage and you guys see Chocapic version, that's the file that you just downloaded. You all can see all of these things inside of the folder. Go back. Now go into here and put the word Chocapic shaders. After that, go into the bottom right corner, click the button with the three circles and hit new folder. Now you guys can see this is your new folder that has absolutely nothing inside of it. Go back. Now you can see Chocapic shaders. Now go into .zip file and go to the button with the three lines and the checkbox on it and make sure everything there has a check right next to it. So go to the button right next to the other button you pressed and click on it. That button is actually the copy button because you're going to put all of these items into that other folder. Go back and go into your Chocapic shader folder. Now you're going to go on the bottom and click the clipboard. Now the clipboard is actually pasting all of those items that you just copied and putting them into this new folder that you created. Okay, so now it's all loaded. Now you're gonna go back and you're gonna go into the other app that I mentioned earlier, the UFO app. Okay, so now it's finally working because I was just getting done installing it before. This is the Unified File Organizer. Now in the top right corner, you're gonna see that gear icon. Those are the settings. So go ahead and click on it just like I am here. Now you're gonna wanna hit the button there that says Open in File Explorer. So now it's opening up the third app that I mentioned. On here, go to Packages. And after you've clicked on that, we're going to need to find the file that says megascopes.universalfile. Now it'll have some numbers before it, but you'll be able to spot it. So megascopes.universalfile, it's right there. I'm going to click on it. Go into Local State, and then go to the folder that we created earlier, Chocapic Shader. Press the button with the three lines on it and copy it. So now you're going to want to go back to packages, back to where we were earlier, and we're going to need to find the Minecraft folder. This is going to say Microsoft.Minecraft. Okay, I found it, and we're inside of the Minecraft folder now, and go to local state, go to games, go to com.mojang, and now we're going to need a folder that says resource underscore packs. But as you can see, I don't have it, and you guys probably don't have it either. So we're going to want to go down. Now we're going to want to go down to the button that has a plus, the new folder button. And you need to spell this perfectly, okay? It cannot be misspelled. Lowercase resource underscore packs. That's how you need to spell it. And if you misspell it a little bit, it won't work at all. So if it's spelled just like that, it'll work. You're going to want to go into the new folder that you just created. And you're going to want to paste the Chocapic shader file into there. So you see, I just did that. And everything is inside of here. So that's pretty much it, you know. I've just pasted and put that into the Minecraft game. So that's it. Go to Minecraft. And you're going to want to select the world that you want to put these shaders on. 
go down to the resource packs add-ons button and you can see Chocapic shaders right here on available packs. Press the plus button that comes underneath it and now I'm going to play and I've pretty much done it. You know, that's, that's it. And wow, wow, that looks a lot different from where I left it. Just look at that. Look, look down here, the grass is actually moving. That's great. You know, this resource pack is very great. And this is a mansion that I made on this world. But I, I'm just going to go inside to see what the lights look like. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow, these shaders are really an improvement for the Xbox One. Especially since Mojang promised us that super duper graphics pack that never came. This is a much easier way of obtaining shaders on the Xbox. So that is actually going to be it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next video.